Welcome to Daisy's Divas. Hi, I'm your host, Daisy. Today, we have a well-known caterer. She is the owner of Silver Ties Service out of Andover, and also she's an acclaimed artist. So please welcome this morning, Patty, Patty, Betty Poger. <laughs> Good morning, Betty. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you for bringing all this in today. Thank you. I love your artwork. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. That we're going to talk about, and also you had reached out last night. You wanted to bring us some chili, right, Pete? We would have loved that, I but we figured that. we'll do one thing at a time, and we're getting off the holidays, so it's going to get back me. on our diets. Uh -huh. So good morning, good and morning. tell me, the viewers, a little bit about who you are first, and then we'll get into all of your phenomenal things that you've done, Betty. Okay, so I am a resident of North Andover, mm -hmm. born and raised in Melrose, Mass. Um, and she's a Greek girl, I'm just a like Greek myself. Girl. All right. My first uh -huh. picture, yeah. So I am uh, not a caterer, mm -hmm. which is a, a very common misconception. Okay. What uh, is exactly? Explain. We provide yeah. servers, bartenders, um, pretty much wait staff, and party planning and event planning for parties, events, galas, corporate events, any kind of event that there is. So, but I saw this great picture of you with a huge, my favorite, rice with the lamb. Yep. I mean, any, right. every Greek Lamb, coke, and Easter. Girl, yes. Yes. Dream come true. I know. So, do you, okay, here's the picture right here. You can take a look. So, That's right. w do they make, you're just providing the service? Is that what you do? What I do other than the silver tie servers is I provide um, meals for families that need it. Busy, working families with kids that um, don't have the time to cook. They're doing a lot of takeout. Right. So who's uh, cooking? I'm cooking. But, I cook in their home. But wouldn't you consider that a caterer or a chef? I'm not really a caterer. Okay. I'm more like, I am more like a personal chef. A personal chef. So okay. I come into their homes. We have a, a branch of Silver Tie servers now we call Silver Tie Angels. Right. Okay. So I, sometimes I just go in and make them two or three different meals for the week. Okay. One to freeze, one for the slow cooker, mm -hmm. um, and one for that evening with side dishes and salads, all healthy whole foods. Right. Um, and sometimes I will... Um, um, do lessons for right. the children wow. or them or their millennials who right. are having a tough time cooking and all that. So how did you get involved, Betty, in doing I've, this? I've always been a cook. Okay. Um, I was in the Who kitchen. taught you? My mom. Your mom. Of yeah. course. Yes, Big right? Mother. Right? Yep. And we didn't we didn't know a recipe, right? We just throw everything in. She just did it. Yes. I, but she had a lot of recipes. I still yeah. have. Uh -huh. uh, my sisters were older than me. They were off doing their thing. But I was in the kitchen with my mom. Mm -hmm. Nice. So it came very naturally to me. Um, I do cook in people's homes, mm -hmm. so they, that it's, you know, there's no commercial kitchen involved or anything like that. What got you involved besides your mom? Like, you just loved cooking and you, you know, been doing it how long now? 20 years, was it? 25, did you say? For? For, for doing the catering, the, uh, the serving. The, the serving, serving it's only been about seven years. Seven years, yep. okay. Um, but it was just a natural thing for me to transition because the first quarter of every year is very slow. Right. Restaurants closed, closed, shut down. The malls are empty, and so Silver Tie gets a little slower. Mm -hmm. um, and so somebody reached out to me and said, "Gosh, we do a pizza three times a week. You know, can you help?" Right. And I said, "Sure." Yeah. So it's it works out wonderfully. And the Silver Tie Angels, we go in and we. What uh, is that? It is a branch. I've just created this. Another good branch. girl. <clears throat> I love it. We go in. We do a, a light meal. Mm -hmm. Maybe make some tuna salad, hard boil some eggs for them, things for them to have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, every day. Right. And then we can fold a load of laundry. Wow. Or we can organize a draw that's, you know, Oh, that's a great it. idea. Oh, and yeah. these women need it's, help. You know, some of them, a lot of them are single moms. They're grappling because, as you know, yeah. you can't do it all. Right. You can't have the high, high stress career, have the little kids and be married and do everything and then have dinner on the table. Right. When they come home, dinner's on the table. Right. And the, the clothes are folded. The wow. clothes are folded. The kitchen's pretty much swept. Mm -hmm. And wow, the junk drawer is all organized. Look at that. So right. it, it works out. It does work out. Yeah. So how did you come up with the name? I love the name. What, the Silver yes. Tie Servers? Yes. Um, my sister and I just, well, I was with another company and I thought, thought to myself, you know, I can, I can improve on this. Let's see if we can do this ourselves. At the time, you know, you think it's going to be so easy. Right. It's not that easy. No, it's not. <laughs> to start a business. Yeah. So we thought, let's have a signature tie. Mm -hmm. What color should we make? Yeah. 
And we went through all the colors. And I said, silver tie. Yeah. Silver tie sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Vistaprint next day, we get some cards and some silver ties, black uniform, and we're in business. So do you go anywhere? Betty, anywhere. you said one of your first places were here in Chelmsford years ago. We've traveled as far as, you know, two and a half hours away. Wow. So, I mean, of course, there's travel pay involved. Yeah. And sometimes the servers don't want to go that far, but that's their choice. Right. That's their choice. So when you come into, say, it's a big party, and I hire you, do you cook right? You'll cook right in the kitchen? Do you cook outside, you know, in a so, truck? So yeah. it's separate. Okay. So when we do a party with Silver Tie, we're not cooking. You're not cooking at all. We might create a charcuterie for you. Right. If you toss some food at us, mm -hmm. we might set up a buffet. Um, there's lots of things we do when we do a party. I know your website is beautiful. Oh, you have thank to you. go to your website because it is beautiful. It's all laid out and it's just, I love the pictures and it's very classy. Well done. I have a wonderful gentleman right in North Andover who created that for me. Um, his name is Jamie Jamitkowski and he has he did a good owns job. Ohana, and he does a great, great job. Yes, he so, does. So Silver Tie is separate than the cooking. Right. It's a separate entity altogether. Okay. So basically, you go in, you set up, you bring your, do you bring your stuff? You we have a small kit that we bring with us, yep. but pretty much we do everything for the client. Mm -hmm. So the client literally has to do nothing. Right. That's they great. They sit back, grab a drink. Yep. Have and then fun you do with, all the cleanup. We do all the cleanup. Yep. That's We've wonderful. We've been known to mop the floors, scrub, yep. the, scrub the stove, and, yep. and people are happy. That's awesome. They're happy. Now, fast forward a little bit. Now, let's talk a little bit about your gorgeous artwork oh, here. thank you. So what type of paintings are these? Well, these are oil, all mm -hmm. oil on canvas. Some have wax incorporated into the oil, mm -hmm. some of the abstracts. Um, when did you start painting? I started painting about 15 years ago. I graduated from Mass College of Art as a sculpture major. Uh -huh. And although I thought about painting, a painting major, my dad was a painter. Yep. His and I, fun. you know, at the time you're a teenager and you, you don't really want to do what your parents want you to do. So I went the other route. But then I got out of college and I had a family mm -hmm. and as soon as the kids were old enough to take care of themselves, I, I took a painting class wow. and that moment I knew. That you love painting. I just knew it. Now do you right exhibit? Away. Now let's, do you exhibit I, your painting? I do. Where do you exhibit? Um, I've had shows at the um, Firehouse in Newburyport. Oh nice. Yep. I just had a solo show there last year. I'm going to be at the Centennial Gallery. Nice. Uh, when? Mid-February, mid after February 23rd for a month. Tell me a little bit about, ooh. This is Gus. Oh, I look at Gus. Adorable. So, as you can see, I do two different styles of no. my painting. So we're going to talk about Gus, and then we're going to talk about the other. So painting. this is much more articulate. It takes me a very long time to do these paintings. Mm -hmm. This is the labor of love. Mm -hmm. I probably have 20 hours into this painting. Where is Gus from? Is it a real Gus? Um, it's a photograph. Oh, it is? <laughs> nice. I saw a photograph and I fell in love with him and I just decided I need to put him on canvas. Yeah. I make note cards from my paintings. You and do? I sell them locally in Andover. Nice. Yeah, at where Acorn. And where? At Acorn. Oh, real? Oh, yeah, nice. Acorn Home and Design. Yes. They're wonderful yeah. over there. So they've been selling my note cards Talented. and I have paintings displayed there for mm -hmm. sale. Good. Too. Excellent. Yeah. Tell me about this painting. And as soon as I start getting a little bit of a headache from Gus, I go over to an abstract okay, and so I have some fun. So this is called an abstract. This is an abstract. This okay. is a, it's not representational at all. Yeah. It is what you see. Okay. So we're going to get a shot of this one. Am I in the right position, Karen? Or? Yeah. Okay. So this, what, how did, what inspired, okay, here we go. Oh, awesome, Karen, thank you. What inspired you on this painting? Um, actually, <clears throat> I don't have much of a, of a lot of forethought when I do my paintings. Yep. When I have alone time, which happens now and then, more now that my kids are right. adults. Um, thank you, Karen. I start to just play with paint right. and see what comes out. Sometimes I paint over paintings two or three times and there are <laughs> underpaintings inside. Right. This is a couple of times painted over. So some of the, the colors that you see yep. are paintings that I wasn't crazy about. So how much would something like this go for? Um, well, oh boy, there's the there's the, yeah, ultimate the million question, dollar question right it? now today. <laughs> uh, my paintings range anywhere from five or six hundred for a small one. Yep. Um, and that's probably more of a realistic one. Right. The abstracts I would probably sell that for Close to a thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yep. But I do make prints. Mm-hmm. 
And the prints are considerably less. Really? Yes. And they are stretched on a canvas, on, on stretcher bars, just like this. Mm -hmm. um, so it's almost, almost the same, but not quite. Now, tell us a little bit about this one. Um, is this, this like a, a forest? Is, this, do I, is that like a forest or no? So this is, well, this, uh, obviously, it's representational. Okay. Um, Overlooking. That's more of an beach? abstract slash representational. This has no representational okay. value, except for what you want to see in it. This is obviously okay. a, a wooded that. scene. Okay. That I had some fun with, and um, there's a lot of what you call um, impasto on this, which is raised paint, so it's rough, oh. and there's a lot of, you know, you can really Detail, feel, yeah. feel that. Um, soon to be framed, I, I was had this in a show in New Bedford, and it got um, very good reviews. In so Be I think Bedford, Mass? Uh, uh, New yes, Hampshire? New, no, New Bedford, Mass. Oh, New Bedford, yep. Mass, yep. okay. As I said. Yeah, I had a solo show there a couple of years ago. So you would frame that? You of wouldn't course. just hang that? You would? Really? I have You know, like... paintings are great. It, even this is a gallery wrap, so this is, of course, the sides are, are wrapped, so you really don't have to frame it, but mm -hmm. a painting takes on a new life when you frame it right. completely, if you choose the right frame. So say I come in and say, Betty, I want you to make a, do a portrait of myself. Right. Not like us, but would you do a portrait? Oh, I would. You, I would. Could you do a portrait? Are, um, I could. I have done portraits of yep. my kids. Well... But I had a personal connection. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of pe a lot of pets. Yeah, a lot of pets. dogs, cats, things like that. Yep. So. Do you paint how many times a week? Do you? Oh, it, I go hot and cold. Yeah. Sometimes I paint a lot. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, not really. Yeah. I know. I mean, <laughs> not really. I'd be like Gus, I'd be like the ears a little short, the ears a little long. Uh, you looking you know, at it. Yeah. So, sometimes I, if I'm in, I get into a. Um, and another artist will recognize this, into a frame of mind where I don't see a lot around me. Right. And I have, um, like, a horse with blinders on. Mm -hmm. I don't hear my dogs behind me. I don't hear the phone ring. I don't hear it. I'm in this kind of zone. Right. Um, so it is relaxing in that way. Music is my friend. I, I play very loud music mm -hmm. and all different kinds of music. <coughs> really? And That's it, interesting. It inspires me. So, yeah. So now let's, let's go back to the um, serving business. Yes. You employ how many women? This was interesting. The most I have employed, <coughs> pardon me, which was last December, <coughs> was 28. I, I have the tickle. Uh, 28? <laughs> 28. Wow. So we started out with, you know, my, my girls. I have four daughters. Mm -hmm. um, my wow. Girls, yeah. What are the ages? Oh. oh here's I, your business right here. Look at them. They're that's beautiful. That's right. That was oh, at right. The, oh, you have one man. Oh, I have Alistair. I love <coughs> Alistair. He's great. Um, he, he, well, his mom, great. and his sister all work for Silver Tie. Wow. Um, so that was at the Design Center in Boston. Wow. Um, we did a very huge event. event. And they had, that's not all of us yep. that were there. That's very professional. About, about half of us. So you have four daughters. How old is the oldest? Uh, the eldest is 30. I have to think about it. Yep. 33. Wow. And then she has a 31-year-old sister. Mm -hmm. And I have twins. Um, wow. That are 30. Forgive me if they're not 30 yet. I think they're, they're 30. Yes, they just turned 30. Um, wow. I lose track. So you have your hands full? I do. Are they in I your, used to. Yeah, are they in your business at all? Um, three the of them are. Yep. yep. Three of them are, and right. one is in Said North that. Carolina. But do they do it full time? Oh, no. 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 Okay. No, sil <clears throat> pardon me. Silver tie is not full time. Silver right. tie is on call. Okay. So if I get a job, I right. look Here's at my list. and Two of the girls right here. Oh, that, those are my twins, Alexis oh on the God, left and Jacqueline beautiful. on the right. They are my bartenders. Nice. They're the best ambassadors for my um, company, yep. um, them and their uh, middle sister. Yep. Um, Jade is not um, working right now for us because she's too far away. Yeah. But um, Cute. Yeah, it's great to have them there. Yep. Now, when you go, say you're going to go like, to an event, how many, how many servers do you bring? We usually say 35 guests per server. Wow. All depending. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a wedding, a wedding is a much more um, important. A yep. It's a lot. It is a lot. I, if I have a 200-person wedding, I'm putting six or seven servers there. Right. Which is good, though. Yeah. Yeah. It, you have to. Yep. Because if, it, if you don't have enough service, mm -hmm. then nobody is happy. This is my motto. The bride isn't happy. Right. The servers are very unhappy. Right. The guests are unhappy. So you have to have a good server mm -hmm. Uh, to guest ratio. Right. Who is a role model? Was it your mom? 
for a woman in oh, your life? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Um, you know, I don't, I haven't really thought about it, who my role models were. Um, I don't, you know what, pass. I'm going to pass on that. I'd have to think. But as a young woman, you know, with four daughters, who, how did you inspire your daughters? Like who, you know, what did you do if oh. your daughters were down and out? Like how did you give them some inspiration or support? The first thing I did um, was tell them they had to work very early in their life. Mm -hmm. um, Smart. I, I think that's our ethnic background. It is. It really and truly is, and it was a need. Mm -hmm. um, I was a single mom at one point. Um, all, all five women were living alone, mm -hmm. and uh, they wanted things. Right. I want this, I want that, I want the new jeans. I said, you know, Dunkin' Donuts is hiring down mm -hmm. the street. You're 14, get yourself a, a, right. a, a work permit, and go start to work. And mm -hmm. they all did. And because of that, they all became very independent. Mm -hmm. um, I learned, taught them how to do their laundry at an early age. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was kind of a, um, a free-range mom. I'd tell them mm -hmm. to go out and play, and mm -hmm. they did their own thing. I didn't overschedule them. And as a result, I think it worked out very well for them. That's wonderful. Yeah. But I'm sure, Betty, you had some tough times being a single mom. Oh, I did. So what made you get through? Did you look at, what made you get through some of those tough times to give some women advice that right. are going through some tough times now yep. as single moms? Yep, yep, yep. Um, when I found myself as a single mom, um, I started cleaning houses. So hmm. my advice would be get out there. Right. Keep yourself busy. Keep there's, your mind active, correct? There's no shame in anything you do if it's good hard work. Every I day I got up, I put on my makeup, and I got dressed, and I always made sure that I felt good mm -hmm. in my skin, and my hair was done, even when I had to go clean a house. Mm -hmm. And I went and did it. That's a um, positive. That's it's great the, advice. It's very positive. There's going to be down times, but you mm -hmm. know what? I started to become a walker. I started to walk. Mm -hmm. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah, and I you had, walk with our good friend Janet that's been that's on the show right. here. Give her a big shout out. <laughs> yep. So how far do you walk? You're in great uh, shape. Now, now not so much, but back then I was doing three miles a day, four yep. or five days a week. Um, so the exercise cleared my head, right. and I was just I always had. I, I wasn't going to be right. I wasn't going to fail. Mm -hmm. So it's important. I just did it. Well, you have your four lovely daughters, um, or any young woman in this type of environment. What would you wish for if you had a magic wand for these women? For in my women, or in general? In general. Um, and then your daughters, too. Yeah, in general. Yeah. Uh, learn how to do things, mm -hmm. like my cooking. Right. Learn how to cook. Learn how to sew on a button. Learn how to have a conversation with somebody back and forth. Mm -hmm. Learn how to listen to people. You will do better in your job interviews. Mm -hmm. You will be successful. So true. Um, Learn how to shake somebody's hand mm -hmm. the right way, you know, just... Note-taking, like you note. do the beautiful notes. Write a beautiful letter. Right. Um, positive thoughts. Are, I, I'm getting more into the positive thoughts every day. And when you're mm -hmm. overwhelmed, learn how to breathe. Mm -hmm. um, do a little meditation. Learn something new all the time. We all for that. Learn how to speak. Mm -hmm. Use proper English. You know, I know it sounds like a small thing, but it's huge mm -hmm. a, as they grow. We used to put the word of the day on the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. The word Educate. of the day. Yeah. You know, it's a different generation. I mean, when we yes. grow up, it's a totally different generation. There's so much, and I keep on saying out there, for women, you can just go on the internet and learn, learn, learn. We didn't. You know, there wasn't self-confidence and self-building. It was go out there, ride your bike, go do the five jobs. And yep. don't you agree that women nowadays have so much more advanced than we had? They, they do. They're luckier mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. A lot of ways, they're not luckier. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you know they're coming out of the gate with as much life skill mm -hmm. as we did, mm -hmm. because we had no choice. Right, we had just you know do we it. walked uphill to school both ways. Mm -hmm. You know, in the mm -hmm. snow, in the rain, right. which we did. Right, um, it's true. Yeah, you got to be kind of tough. Mm -hmm. um, this attitude scares me that they um, they deserve. Right this and they deserve that. The entitlement. The it's just, you know, parents who are doing this to their little ones right now, I don't think they're doing them any favors. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're killing them with kindness mm -hmm. because they get out there and the first time their boss barks at them, mm -hmm. they fall apart. Mm -hmm. they, they don't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to like some of your teachers. You're not going to like some of your bosses or your coworkers. You know, you know, mm -hmm. you need to deal with it. 
what is the strongest advice you, that you've given to your four daughters? What's the one word you always tell them? Follow your gut. That's yeah. what I tell them. I've told them since they were little girls. Yeah. If something doesn't seem right to you and it's nagging at you, it's not right. Mm -hmm. If you're walking down the street and somebody's behind you and you think, oh, well, you know, you're trying to be nice and not, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Follow your gut. Protect yourself. Um, if a situation seems bad, just don't let it go by. And not just situations, but in general. Right. That's true. true. Yeah. That's good. Mm. You must be a, a great mom, a hip mom. They like me. Yeah. <laughs> they look they like sweet. I'm a How is it working with them? I love working. Yeah. But we end up fighting. And yeah. so I say, we can't fight in front of the clients. Yeah. You know? yeah. Mom, you're not supposed to do it this way. Well, I'm the boss. So right. I do it the way I want you to do it. But yeah. it's, it's all good. That's it's all good. Betty, you know, can you believe we're almost wrapping up? Really yeah, and that was fast. I, isn't it fast? Yeah, what else would you like to talk about before we end? Do you, you have know, a couple I think, more minutes? I think we've covered everything. My biggest cheerleader is my husband, Bill, mm -hmm. yep. who I love dearly. Um, he encourages me with my artwork. and Love my that name. Business. My brother's name is Bill. Great name. Yeah, he's a great guy. How, how important is someone like Bill? Um, crucial. Mm -hmm. um, to always say, you're doing a great job, don't take it so hard, it's fine. Always gives me a hug and a kiss in the morning and a cup of black coffee, and mm -hmm. he's just a, a great, and he, he, he loves my girls, and That's my awesome. girls love him. And Wow, it's perfect. Yeah, he's a great dad. How long have you been with Bill? I have been with Bill 19 years. He 19. was my childhood sweetheart, actually. Goodness, so yeah. how did that come back into play? I, I separated. Yeah, for, for my former husband, mm -hmm. and a little while later, we met up again after 22 years, and uh, that's a know, nice story. Things just progressed, and we ended up getting married. Yeah, does Bill have any children? He does. He have a, he has a son, mm -hmm. and he's married. And he's in his 30s, and oh. he lives up in New Hampshire. So nice. yes. So you all get together, and we you do. We have a great time. We're planning a wedding for my um, one of my twins, Jacqueline, right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where's she going to be getting married? Uh, at the River Club in Situate. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, because your Married. family, is she a, a Greek church? No. No? Nope, Catholic church. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Well, Betty, I wanted to thank you so much. Tell thank us you. what's coming up now for you. Silver Service, any events you have coming up? Uh, yeah, we go over the, that one more time. At the Centennial Gallery in Peabody, which is actually an office, a doctor's office. Okay. Um, I'm going to be um, pairing up with my friend Holly Coble, okay. who is a wonderful artist, and we're doing a show. We'll be there for around 30 days, starting oh. February 23rd. Okay, and Pete, I think has Pete. You have the website that you're flashing, so anybody can reach out anybody. and we give us a website for the service. I love that. Yeah, it's a uh, SilverTieServers.com. Okay. And you can reach the angels there, too, the Silver mm -hmm. Tie Angels. And Pogre Fine Art is, um, you can always reach me through that. I have Facebook, Instagram, you name it. I'm out there. Pete just put it all out there. Betty, I wanted to say thank you so much. Thank you. You are a true inspiration. You deserve the Godiva chocolate oh, the Diva in yum. you. And I wanted to thank you for coming on the show. And keep on inspiring all those women. I'm gonna thank try. you, Betty. Thank you, Daisy. You're so good. Thank you for making a difference. All right. I'm going to eat this on the way home. Thank you for watching Daisy's Divas, and I hope I will see you soon.